Another day, another story. A middle-aged man was waiting to see the Buddha from meditation at Bodhivanam. Buddha broke his meditation and woke up. He fell down and worshipped the Buddha. Buddha said to him, Who are you? He asked. He said, My name is Obanandon. Buddha asked, What do you want? Obanandon said, Lord, I am a poor man. I have a wife and three children. I have toiled in worldly affairs and in worldly life and have experienced many sufferings and tortures. Make me a sannyasi and free me from attachment and give me wisdom. The Buddha thought for a while and said to him, Apinanda, the leaves on this tree are swaying. Do you know the reason? The leaves of the tree are swaying because the wind blows on the leaves. Human minds are like these leaves. The wind of worldly attachment comes upon human minds and collides with them. So the minds sway. They waver. First of all, the bond in your mind. Can you remove all affections? He asked. Abhinanda said, Lord Buddha, I can give up attachment. Well, then you can stay in the body forest from today, said the Buddha. A few days passed. One day the Buddha went to a nearby pond to take a bath. Then he saw a puppy standing under a tree, next to Obinandon. Buddha asked him, Abhinanda, what is this? Obinandon said, Lord, this is my puppy. It never wants to leave me. It always wants to be with me. So let me keep only this one. He said and pulled. Buddha smiled and left. A few more days passed. Buddha was going to bath as before. Even now Obinondong was standing under the same tree. Beside him stood a boy with a puppy. Buddha asked, Abhinanda, who is this boy? Obinondon said, Lord, this is my son. He always wants to be with this puppy. He cannot be separated from this puppy. So he also. Buddha smiled again and left. A few more days passed. That day Buddha was going for bath. Obinondon was standing under the same tree on the bank of the pond as before. Beside him stood a woman with a puppy and a boy. Buddha said, Abhinanda, who is this woman? Lord, this is my wife. She could not be separated from this boy. So she also, he said. Buddha smiled and took two empty vessels. Saying, Abhinanda, look here, he filled a vessel with stones. He threw it into the pool water. The vessel sank into the pond. He threw another empty vessel into the pool water. It floated away. Apinanda, a heavy vessel sinks in a pond. An empty vessel floats in a pond. A heavy vessel is a vessel full of worldly attachment called Bondabhasam. It sinks in the ocean of birth and suffering. An empty vessel is a vessel of wisdom. It floats without sinking. Some of the hair falls off on its own from the head. The hairs that don't want to fall out like that, remain grey on the head, and make fun of us. Fallen hairs run away. Those who are not attached to the world are like fallen hairs. Those who are stuck in attachments are like the grey hairs that mock us. Such as intractable bond affections, grey hairs on the head that do not want to fall out. Your mind is made for worldly attachment. As a price you have to suffer worldly sufferings and tortures. You can go from here, and visit any time, said the Buddha. Thanks for watching. Like, share 
and subscribe.